welcome back to the unboxers and today to uh add to our halloween fall spooky scary week we have azrael from um he's from he is from batman curse of the white knight yeah i was sure <laughs> i wanted to get that right so um and he is from mcfarland toys we want to say a great big thank you to mcfarland toys for sending him to us for free to share with you today uh, to unbox and show you all of his amazing details. Yeah, he looks really cool. He's part of the um, the DC Multiverse series of figures, and he's one of the um He's got all shades characters. of red and burgundy yeah. in there. Very, very cool. Um, I think the flames coming off of his sword are my favorite part. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, yeah. That's really, really cool looking. And um, it's almost like he has a cape, but, like, wings. Yeah, the it's cape kinda, is kind of it's kind of yeah, strange. That's yeah, that's unique. Very unique. Awesome. So let's take a look at the back. We got some artwork on the back, which is awesome. And also it shows some of the other figures um, from this series as well, right? Correct. Um, and yes, actually all except for the Superman, the animated Superman one, we have actually done videos on. So awesome. Feel free to check those out. All right. So now we're going to get Azrael out of his box, not to be confused with the Smurf cat. <laughs> yes, that's what, what I was going to say. <laughs> we're going to get him out of his box. And uh, and as spooky as he is, we're going to show you him close up and give you a better look. We'll be right back. All right, and we're back. And Asriel's out of his box, and he is looking awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. He comes with his own card, too. Um, so the artwork on the back is actually on a card, which is really awesome. Yeah. And um, some details about it as well. Data file <laughs> on uh, Azrael. And then he has this awesome sword. You want to show that off? Yep. The ready? I'll hold him to the. All right, ready? Whoosh. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. That's so cool. So you can have it flaming or regular. Yeah. This, this is like, so it's like made like a sheet. It's like a challenge. Can you. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So I really, really love. Yeah, I was really impressed by that. Yes, I I like how it looks, and then the fact that you can do that. That's my favorite uh, favorite feature of this one. Okay, and so let's go ahead and show him off close up. He does come with a stand. He's got pegs in both um, feet. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at his head sculpt. Very cool. Very menacing. Look at that. Yeah, he always has such a really cool look. Um, and it's kind of interesting it's kinda because... It's kind of like um, Iron Man meets Ninja Turtle. Yeah. <laughs> but he's kind of like, it's kind of cool because he's like, you know, it's, things are like asymmetrical. It's not like right. everything's the same on both sides. So it's kind of gives him an interesting look. Yeah, this gives me like a bird feathers vibe coming around here. And then you have these. This is kind of like gives me a vulture vibe. <laughs> I don't know why... Um, and then he, look at that, they're like, even though they're like, you know, they're loose, they're like pliable, like, um, what was I going to say? Even though they're like, they're like a rubbery plastic. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, so this part is not as harder and then, or the way that it is, um, is thicker. So, but because these are thin, they have a lot of mobility. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. Kind of gives them like, like he's got hair back here. Yeah. <laughs> and look at all of the folds and details on the back with the black shading in there it really gives it a very cool look um, I don't think I've ever seen a figure with this much detail in like a belt thing on the back that's really cool and he's got this chain going through here um, that goes all the way around with the cross hanging from it and um, is this, this is like a little guess like a knife, knife inside yeah. there inside of a sheath and so that's that stays um, stays onto him, and he's got some really cool detailing here, as well as up here. Yeah, every, it's interesting. It's like, like you know everything shoes. is very ornate, like a you know like this like holy warrior kind of yeah kind of look. And then he's got some grommets on here, which is totally different than the feathery look up here. Right. Which is really cool. All right, I'm gonna let you show off his articulation right okay. fast. All right, so yeah, these um, the McFarlands um, all have, I believe, twenty-two points of not twenty-two, 22 points, but twenty-two moving, moving parts. parts. <laughs> um, so you have the the toe joints, um, the ankle, which is kind of you know hidden the way they did the the his little short boots there. Um, he has like the double knee, so you can get a good bend 
at the knee. I really like the, the double knee joints. Mm -hmm. The um, it's kind of hard to tell because of this piece here, but his um, his the the hip joints um, go back have and forth like, and yeah. So it's kind of a and you can kind of see it here, like yeah. it's kind of a double uh huh double joint there. Like you're getting personal, buddy. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, so then you have the like the, the waist pivot as well as the um, the, the Ab crunch yeah. Thing. Yeah. Um, then you have the wrist, the elbow joint, um, the bicep, and of course the shoulder signature the double shoulder double that all the McFarlands have. So. And then his yeah, his wrist goes. Um, it go does it go back and forth? Yeah, it goes up and down like this, and as well as rotates. He's like, stop breaking my arm. Mm -hmm. And then of course the the head, um, and it's. Interesting because they made, um, even though he's got this like cowl or hood or whatever, they made that all part of the head. So That's you know he, cool. he doesn't lose any articulation as far as moving, and he can he can even still that is very cool. look down and look up. And that um, makes me think of a cardinal, actually. Yeah. The way it is, very cool. So yeah, he is really a cool looking figure, and it's um, he's gonna be really glad to add him to the Batman collection. Awesome! So we want to say another great big thank you to... McFarland Toys! For sending him to us for free to share with you today. He sure has been... He sure is a really different looking. Yeah. Um, I think they did a great job getting all of his details just right. Yeah, I was really glad to see them add add him to um, to the lineup. Oh, let's put a sword in his hand. And um, if you're interested, uh, we, we do have coming up... We will be reviewing um, the other two in that series, the... Um, the, the Batman, Curse of the White Knight, and the Joker. Um, so those will be coming up as well. Awesome. So as always, we love having you. Come back and see us. Subscribe, like, and we will see you next time.